Hello one and all, I am Dr. K. J. Deepan from Shastra University. Welcome to the video demonstration on the automated nebulizer spray pyrolysis system developed by us indigenously. This is the schematic diagram of the developed nebulizer spray pyrolysis system. The system is completely automated one using a Windows based PC. The deposition unit consists of a PID controlled resistive heating vertical zonal furnace. The substrates are placed onto a rotating substrate holder which is housed at the center of the vertical tubular furnace. The nebulizer with its droplet guiding tube is mounted to the stepper operated linear sliding stage. The furnace and the nebulizer arrangements are housed inside a closed box type fume sword. This compartment is ventilated with the exhaust out to avoid reaching of vapors to the operator. Since the nebulizer can be filled with 5 ml of precursor only, a nebulizer feeding arrangement is provided outside the compartment. The unit is having a front panel for monitoring purpose and also sudden manual override control of a particular operation during the deposition. A pressure cage is also provided into the front panel to monitor the gas pressure. This is the real photograph of the complete deposition unit developed and installed in Multifunctional Materials and Devices Lab of Sastra University. This is the inside view of the humid. As seen in the photograph, the substrates to the guiding tube exit distance can be varied by changing the fasteners position in the threaded rods. This is the close view of the nebulizer with its guiding tube. The nebulizer used here is a simple nebulizer of the adult oxygen mask which is used for therapeutic applications. Here the guiding tube is programmed to scan the substrate using the linear slide and the limiting switches. After some programmed number of scans, the substrates are made to rotate for a particular angle with another stepper motor to which the substrates folder is attached. This photograph clearly shows the nebulizer with its precursor feeding arrangement. The precursor feeding arrangement is a graduated 500 ml pediatric infusion set. This is the only thing which is not automated for ease of cleaning purpose. Here, below the linear slide, a metal sheet was provided to avoid fall of any unwanted impurities on the surfaces of the substrates. This is the close view of the stepper control rotating substrate holder and the exit of the droplet guiding tube. The temperature of the su substrate holder is monitored and controlled using a PID controller through the given thermocouple which is touching the substrate holder firmly. The furnace shown in the photograph is roughly a 2 kW furnace. The temperature of the furnace is controlled by using a digital SCR driven by a select make PID controller for increased temperature withstand during the deposition. This is the photograph of the compressor placed lower compartment of the unit. The on and off control of the compressor and open close of the air are completely automated. Only the flow value should be preset using the manual flow control arrangement. Instead of the compressed air, particular gas can be used for the deposition. This photograph shows the control panel of the instruments which is having manual controls and indicators too. Here the panel meters shows the actual voltage, current and power consumed by the furnace during operation. This is the screenshot of the software developed for the automated operation of the nebulizer spray pyrolysis setup. The software is developed in such a way that it should be intuitive to the operator. It will give commands during the operation in the status bar of the software itself. The software is completely developed in LabVIEW environment. The LabVIEW gives and gets the commands to and from the embedded microcontroller board of the instrument and controls all the process parameters during the deposition accordingly. The microcontroller used in the instrument is Arduino based microcontroller. This is all about the instrument. Now a short demonstration is going to be given to successfully prepare the inference using the instrument. At first, the instrument should be powered up and all the manual override controls present in the control panel should be switched on. The undo operation is implemented in between the front panel controls and the software controls. Hence, even though the front panel switches are on, it should be switched on in the software also. The software should be accessed with correct login credentials 
which was created already for a particular operator the software is already having an admin logging through which only the calibration and tuning of the instruments can be done the sample details must be given for logging purpose and also for recognizing the samples in future only after successful log entry of the instrument cpu can be connected from the software As seen already, the control should be switched on in the software too to really energize the operation in the unit. The substrate temperature can be set directly from the software by simply entering the desired temperature in the set temperature control. The software is designed to have two different dynamic settings. One is nozzle sweep method in which nozzle scans the substrate discreetly and the substrate is rotating continuously. Another is nozzle scan method in which the nozzle scan is continuous and the substrate rotation is discrete. The deposition can also be done using spray pass method. The desired dynamic settings and its parameter should be given before starting the deposition. As you can see in the graph, the temperature is increasing gradually. Right now itself the start deposition control can be switched on. But the deposition will be really started when the substrate temperature is plus or minus 3 degree of the set point. In the meantime, the compressed airflow should be checked and the precursor feeding arrangement should be filled with the precursor solution. The solution should be allowed to flow to fill the nebulizer. The unit is ready to perform the deposition now. Once the substrate temperature is reaching, the deposition will be automatically started.
After completing the deposition, the control switches should be switched off, the software should be logged off and closed, the main should be disconnected properly. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.